What is up guys, Johnny here. I'm back with more Shadowgun Legends. Today the hot topic is, is this guy hacking? It's all over the place, on Facebook, on Discord, on Reddit. We have seen screenshots of this new guy in town, Shelte. So all of a sudden and out of nowhere, check the leaderboard. And this guy is now second on a leaderboard, very, very, very close to General Alex. If you check the playtime on General Alex, He's been playing 43 days in total. Uh, he's been playing way before launch. He's been playing beta. He's got 5,000 PvP wins. And uh, what else? A couple co-op raids, 365, uh, 572 solo missions. That gives you an idea of all the PvP this guy had to do to get 7 million fame and, uh, and a half, all right? But now when you check this new guy, they just pop up on the leaderboards and you check his stats. He's got 13 days of playtime to get 7 million and a half almost. And look at the rest. Three PvP wins, okay? He only has 346 co-op raids and 300 solo missions. So, a lot of people are asking how in the hell is this possible? How can you get that much fame without even playing, right? But the answer is here, guys. This is how this guy got fame. It's in the medals and the ribbons. Ribbons farming. And you have to look right here. 25,000 Pro Pistol Ribbons. The Pro Pistol Ribbon gives you 150 fame just for killing 5 enemies in, in 10 seconds with your pistol. That is pretty easy, especially if you use Gunslinger, Supercharger. Now, every time you get 25 of these, you're going to get a medal for 1,200 fame. So if you do that a lot, you're going to get a lot of fame. And then on top of that, without even trying, just for getting kills with your pistol, you're going to get the pistol kills ribbon. It's not a lot. It's just an extra 25 fame. Uh, and then every time you do that 10 times, which is not that much, you get another 300 fame. Now, if you do that using Supercharger, you get another 90 fame and uh, about 1,000 fame per medal every time you get 25 Supercharger ribbons. Now, let's say instead of 5 enemies at the start of your mission, if you find a mission that has 10 enemies real quick at the start, well, you can do Supercharger, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, reload, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. If you got 10 kills in less than 15 seconds, gives you an exterminator ribbon and he's got 5,000 of these for about 100 fame each and then a thousand fame for doing that 25 times so it's pretty obvious this guy just found a great mission which got a lot of enemies you pop the supercharger get a bunch of exterminator ribbons sometimes he's gonna fail the exterminator but he's still gonna get the pro pistol anyways a lot of medals go with that and a lot of quick fame now how hard is it to do that let me show you real quick all right, so it just happened that Shelte uploaded a video on YouTube to prove that he was not hacking, but to show how he was doing it. So he found a mission, as you can see, it's in uh, a Japanese or something language. But he goes into this mission, he goes until the end, he kills every enemy with his auto rifle. And then you get to the part here where you have to hack this thing and then defend it for some time. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna hack it and then you will see a swarm of enemies spawning from behind the uh, barrier. So he's gonna go to the pistol, he's gonna use supercharge, and then he's gonna start killing everything with the pistol. And you will see the ribbons popping, okay? So there's a pro pistol ribbon right here, 150 fame. Then boom, 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 he's gonna keep killing all the enemies as fast as possible with the pistol. There's an exterminator for 10 kills in less than 15 seconds. And then another pro pistol. Then he's gonna use the stunner just so he can uh, maybe avoid taking any damage when, when he's about to take some damage. He's gonna keep killing enemies. So sometimes he's gonna go and get the dodger ribbon. 30 kills I think without taking any damage. And he's gonna keep killing enemies until uh, this is over. Another pro pistol here. So that's three in the same mission. And then you're gonna get some blades. Uh, it's gonna slow you down. Here you see a pistol kill ribbon. Another pro pistol. Um, he's gonna get a lot of pistol ribbons and medals doing this non-stop. Another 150 here. So he's got way over a thousand fame in a short amount of time. Now when he's done, the enemy stop spawning. He's gonna go next to the barrel. Shoot the rocket launcher on the ground to kill himself. 
So that makes it so he doesn't have to restart the whole mission. He's gonna respawn at the checkpoint. He's just gonna hack this thing again. And then another swarm of enemies will uh, start. He's gonna do it again until he run out of rocket ammo, I think. So there you go. S the enemies will start spawning again. Uh, the supercharger is not always ready, but it's gonna be ready soon. He's gonna pop it again, use the stunner, get some more medals uh, and ribbons like that. And he can do it three times, I think. If he run out of rocket launcher ammo, he's just gonna exit to the hub and redo the start of the mission one more time to get this thing back and do it three more times. And now to the big debate, is it okay or not to be farming ribbons? Because it's always been okay, it, I think. People have always been doing it. Uh, we do farm ribbons just to try to get every different metals that exist. We do farm ribbons to try to get fame to unlock the perks on our weapon. And I've been doing videos already about it. And Mad Finger Games already retweeted one of my videos about how to unlock perks. And I was showing how to farm fame to unlock perks if you don't like doing PvP. There are different ways to get fame. You can do PvP, you can do farming ribbons or camping. But people always found that PvP was a better way to get fame. It just seemed that some other guy right here just found a very good way to get quick fame. And it's been working for him. However, is it fun to do and why you do it? To me, I just do it when I need it just to unlock some perks, but then I go play with friends. The fun for me is play co-op dungeons and farm farm gear and legendaries. I'm not farming fame just to get the top of the leaderboard. The problem is leaderboard is all about fame. You get your ranking by highest fame. So you would think some people will try to get a better way to get fame if if that's what you need to be top of the leaderboard it's not about wins it's not about kills it's about fame but now why it's always been okay but now that someone found a greater way to get fame now it's not okay anymore again i don't want to start a war i don't want to be making enemies i respect everyone i respect the game uh, developers i respect the company but I really feel the we listen is they listen to what people say or, or ask for. But it seems that people that, I don't want to say cry, but if you cry harder, they will hear you more. And it's been like that since release. They always nerf stuff because of the PvP players. They nerf the Gunslinger because PvP players were not... Uh, enjoying it but gunslinger was a great skill it was not broken it was very good for pve now that they nerf gunslinger it's kind of useless nobody uses just the pistols in arena anymore like they used to it, it used to be a great skill it used to give us another way to play the game but pvp players decided that it was broken so pve players no longer have access to a great skill then it was the stunner. Stunner was great for arena, it was great for dungeons. They doubled the cooldown because of PvP players asking for a nerf. Now the shotguns got nerfed. Nobody ever uh, thought the shotguns were OP. It's just, it was okay in arena and dungeons, I think. But people use all the rifles, people use SMGs. Not a lot of people use shotgun in PvE. And now they got a nerf for no reason. It really seems like the PvP players, they control this game. They have what they ask for and they don't consider what PvE players are thinking, you know? And now this, like it always been okay to get fame in missions, but now someone get more fame than PvP players, so they're gonna ask for ribbon nerf, or they're gonna ask that you no longer can reset your missions again like i don't know about all this i personally do not think it's wrong to farm ribbons and this guy's not getting free fame he's still playing many hours like six hours a day every day and like 12 or more hours a day on the weekend he's grinding the ribbons like crazy to get this fame okay he's not having it for free now, where would it be not okay to get this is if he's using a program like an emulator 
that it can reprogram, enter a sequence, and when he sleeps, the computer will play for him. Now that would not be okay, it would be an exploit or something. But what is an exploit? It's not an exploit to reset missions. It's in the game, people have been doing it forever, and I don't think it should be removed from us. We are using it for good reasons, and this guy really wanted to be on the leaderboard and have all the fame. And I mean, they will have to make a decision about that, but if they nerf the ribbons again, they nerf it for everyone. Why, why is it that the only way to get in the leaderboard would be to play PvP? Don't you know that some people really don't care for PvP? And I'm not bashing anyone. I'm just saying some guys really enjoy grinding dungeons and they don't play PvP. And some guys just like PvP and they don't like farming dungeons. But this game is for everyone. And they should have the right to play the game their way. Without being punished all the time just to make the PvP players happy. So that was my opinion. Of course, something's gonna have to be done. Uh, there are a lot of solutions. They could do leaderboard resets. They could do seasonal leaderboards. Let's say every month there's a new season. Everyone starts at zero and you don't lose everything. You could still have uh, on your scorecard your all time fame. Uh, you could have uh, some rewards for the end of the season according to your ranks. Your ranks could show on the leaderboard for every season. There's a lot of things you can do to fix it, but not just nerve the ribbons just because some PvE guy gets more fame than some PvP guys, you know? It doesn't make much sense to me. So I want to hear from you. Instead of just bashing and complaining, do you have any solutions? What do you think would be good for the game? How can they fix it? and make sure everyone is happy and everyone has the right to play their own way that will be it for today i really hope you guys will take time to leave a comment and please be respectful of others opinions uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications and watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care